guys and welcome back to farmer on fire channel i am so excited to have you here in the wake of the world environmental day which is usually on the 5th of june every year and this year us as farmer on fire we are celebrating with you guys as farmers even as we bring you the awareness of climate change and regenerative agriculture so welcome So this day is a way of remembering the legacy of our hero Wangari Mathai. My name is also Wangari and so I'm honored to bring to life every time I have an opportunity of how we can continue her good work to take care of our environment. Climate change is a real issue and whenever we hear this topic we think of it as a challenge of the rich people, as a challenge of people outside our continent. But as Africans and as poor people, we need to realize that we are the people who will be affected the most by any challenge that is um, coming towards our way. If there is a catastrophe, if there is drought, if there is famine, the people who are poorest in a society are the ones who suffer the most. So we should care about our environment number two a lot of things since uh the establishment of world environmental day in 1970 a lot has been achieved we have seen elephants we have seen rhinos we have seen so many endangered wildlife being brought back in numbers because of efforts of a human being we have seen our uh, oceans getting cleaner we have seen the recent ban of kenya uh, on polythene bags which has gone a long way to conserve our environment so it is not all lost yes human beings are doing a lot to damage the environment but we can also come together and do something about it and of course you're asking me but wangari what does this got to do with agriculture i feel regenerative agriculture is the answer to all this because it's about realizing that as much as there is so much life on top of the ground let's say there are human beings there are wild animals there are plants and microorganisms there is a sky there is sun there is water there is also as many if not more on land uh, in the soil there's there are so many living organisms under the soil. Some we can see, some we can't see, like the microfungi and all that, which are related to us. Believe me, all living things are related. So it's important for us to be aware and care about them. Regenerative agriculture comes from the word regenerate, generate, regenerate. It means our soils have died. We have exposed them to things that are killing them let's say um, by tilling them using of pesticides and chemical fertilizer has made our soils die and in that concept it is not able to absorb as much carbon as it used to long time ago with the goal of having um, less emissions into our air to save our planet remember we are sharing this planet all of us so it means that if we all put an effort as farmers we can be able to contribute towards less emissions and um, climate change climate change is affecting us already we have seen the drought and famine the erratic weather patterns we are not no longer able to predict the planting seasons from any other seasons because so much is changing so fast we have also seen the rise in sea levels which means that we have to do something and do something fast number one zero tillage minimize your tillage when you open up the ground you are interfering with the microorganisms under the ground it's good to have that biodiversity under their thriving and by you opening up the land it's like you're opening up the skin and that is <laughs> that is the reason of having a cover crop is 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 so that you can protect what is happening under there so also cover crops help in ensuring that the energy from the sun and the environment goes down using their root system so when you uproot everything and you leave the land bare it means you're slowly killing your own soil and eventually there won't be that carbon exchange remember photosynthesis it's when plants transfer uh, using uh, making of their own food you remember they need three things sunlight 
carbon dioxide and i think water and then they transfer that and give us oxygen they take that carbon down into the root somewhere in the core of the earth which eventually turns into all these minerals that we love like coal and other precious metals so it is important that we do these two things so zero tillage number one number two having a cover crop and then number three making sure that we are mulching our land as much as possible think of it as a blanket always have your land protected by having different layers of uh, plants in your farm is important so don't clear the entire land in the name of farming some of these trees and plants and hedges are part of a habitat of insects that feed on other insects that we call pests that feed on our farm so for example if you cut trees they are a good habitat of ladybirds and ladybirds are good at eating some of these pests let's say like catworms uh, they also eat uh, mites and things like that which we have to go back to our pocket to buy pesticides which are very expensive and hazardous to our environment so you kind of see how all this is related so i hope you guys will start reading up on regenerative agriculture if you'd like to know more let me know so that you can go and put the practices of better farming in for ourselves and contribute to a better world thank you so much and have a good day